Hi everyone and welcome to the Knit California YouTube channel. My name is Leslie, I am Knit California here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. And today we're doing an explanation of the Oslo hat. The Oslo hat is a pattern by Petite Knit. It is a paid for pattern, so I'm only going to be talking about the one technique in it that I always get questions on. Um, I have made four Oslo hats, and I actually have two on the needles right now. There's one part in the pattern where she tells you to turn and start knitting on the other side, basically. Um, and I get a lot of questions about this, so let's talk it through. This is a finished Oslo hat and I have another one here. This is actually like a baby size version um, and I'm at the point here where I am about to turn. But let me talk you through what this looks like on the finished version. This is the outside. You can tell because this the top part is all knit and this is how I would wear it like this, okay? And when we unfold the brim, this is what it looks like on the right side. We have the brim. You can see the part where we knit together uh, the brim and double folded it. And you can see this is about seven rows here of pearl side fabric. Now, you're not actually purling anywhere in this pattern. So I'm gonna turn this, flip it inside out, this is what the brim looks like when you're starting to knit it. So, you're actually starting on this side, you knit all the way up, you knit the top and bottom together to make the folded brim, and then you knit about, like I said, seven rows, whatever it is to get um, the length that she recommends here. Seven rows right here. And then when you get back to the beginning of round, that is when you turn. Now the pattern recommends a turn very similar to the type of like wrap and turn that you would do in a German short row. However, I don't think you should think about this as a German short row. It's really just a turn so that you're gonna start knitting on the other side of the fabric. What this does, and let me show you. So this is where I am on the baby version. I don't know if you can tell, but I did do the fold. Here's the seam. And so all of that is on the inside. And I just finished knitting the seven rows. So if we were to, like let's just say, we were to continue knitting this and closing it off, right? If you went to fold up the brim, this is gonna be hard to show you because it's not finished. But if you went to fold up the brim, this is what you would see on the outside. You would see the part where you um, knit the two sides together and you would see the pearl side fabric. And that's not what we want. So the turn is there so that when you knit the remainder of the beanie, you knit the crown, and you fold up the brim, the seam here and this pearl side fabric are on the inside of the hat. And when you fold it up regularly, this is what you see like on the bottom. So here is, again, that like seven rows. Uh, right here is the fold. So if you accidentally, like if you're wearing this, you accidentally fold it up too much, all you're seeing, well, I don't know how you would accidentally fold it up too much. My stepson does it all the time though. <laughs> but all you will see is this knit fabric instead of like a pearl fabric. Um, it also, those like seven rounds, really help set the place for where the fold of the brim is gonna be. So I'm gonna show you um, how to turn this. Okay, so we're gonna knit to our beginning of round. We are going to turn our work so that we're now knitting on the quote wrong side, 
but the wrong side is actually going to become the right side. We're going to slip that stitch, bring the yarn around the back, like you would do a German short row turn, and you're going to start knitting. And like I said, you're now switching the right side and the wrong side of your work. Again, this is done so that you don't have to purl at all um, on any part of this hat. And it is done so that the seam from fo double folding your brim is on the inside of the hat instead of on the outside of the hat. So once you start knitting on basically the other side of the work, you can literally do this, fold the whole thing inside out. And so now you can see this is the side that we're knitting on and you can see we have a few rows of pearls instead of knits. And this is our new right side. That is the Oslo hat turn explained. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comment down below and I wish you happy knitting. Bye!